n such that little n bigger than big N implies distance from p to pn is less than how about epsilon over 2? Okay. Oh, great. So, what n am I going to use? Well, this, for both these terms, the same n works, right? So for this n, n and m bigger than big N, implies the distance from pn to pm is less than, okay, now I'm just rewriting that idea, pn to p plus p to pm, which is less than, that's less than or equal to, this is less than epsilon over 2 plus epsilon over 2 equals epsilon as desired. Okay. That, in fact, shows that we found an n for any given epsilon, such that this holds. All right? OK, great. So at least we know convergence sequences are Cauchy sequences. What about the reverse? Are Cauchy sequences convergent? How many people say yes? How many people say no? Form an opinion. Are Cauchy sequences convergent? How many people say yes? How many people say no? OK, those of you who say no, raise your hand again. There are fewer of you now. You know I'm about to ask. Bonnie, can you think of a, an example? Hmm, interesting. OK, that's all right. That's all right. It's OK. Look at this sequence in Q. Is it Cauchy? Yes, the terms get close to each other, but does not converge in Q. So um, look at this sequence. So um, the converse is not true. Smiley is uh, Cauchy uh, in Q. Well, so what, I'm, what am I saying? This is in Q. This sequence in Q is Cauchy, but not convergent. Ah, OK. So it actually behooves us to try to understand uh, when the converse might be true. It's not true all the time, but if it's true some of the time, that's still pretty good, right? It would let us know, if, if we know that it, the converse is true in a particular metric space, then we'd have a criterion for testing whether a sequence converges by just checking if it's Cauchy. OK, okay so um, let's, uh, let's create a definition that says what we want to be true. OK, so here we go. We'll call a metric space x, we're going to call it complete if every Cauchy sequence converges to a point of x. So this is uh, the, the kind of desirable property that we want. In a complete metric space, Cauchy means convergent. Okay. So you might wonder then, which spaces are, in fact, co uh, complete? What metric spaces are complete? What do you think? Q is not complete, yes? Q is not complete. Do uh, you think R is complete, the real numbers? How many people say yes, R is complete? Mm, OK. So um, Q is not complete. Hmm, is R complete, really? Hmm. Hmm. 
So um, that's probably that's probably a good place to stop. And if you're really curious about the, the answer to this question, you can read ahead, which I assume you're already doing. But otherwise, we will try to answer this question next time. Okay.